this video will show you how to perform two independent samples which is main Whitney test by using SPSS. Now let's see the question. A teacher wondered if students tended to make better scores on her test depending on teaching approach that has been used in the class. From a group of 30 similarly talented students, she randomly divided the subjects into two groups which is teacher-centered and student-centered. The scores by groups are shown on the next slide. Test for a difference between population medians at alpha equals to 0 0.05. The table show the score for two different teaching approach that is teacher-centered and student-centered. The hypotheses are as below. H0, Mx equals to My and H1, Mx0 equals to My and the claim is at H1. Test the claim at alpha equals to 0.05. Okay, now I will show you how to solve this problem by using SPSS. First, key in the data one by one. The first column show the subject for the experiment. The second column show the teaching approach that has been used in the class where number one represent the teacher centered and number two represent the student centered. And the last column show the score for the test. Then click Analyze, choose Non-Parametric Test, click Legacy Dialogs and choose two independent samples. Select Score as a Test Variable List, Approach as a Grouping Variable and then define Groups. Group 1 as 1 and Group 2 as 2. Click Continue. Make sure the test type is Man with Me and then click OK. Okay, now let's see the result of Man Whitney test. The test statistic for Man Whitney is equal to 62.5 and the significant value is equal to 0 0.038 which is less than alpha equal to 0 0.05. So we reject H0. Now we can conclude that there is a difference between the population medians. That's all.